One of my uh, most interesting project experiences uh, that led to a great deal of satisfaction uh, several years after uh, I worked on it uh, was a research project that ended up helping Google to achieve competitive advantage over the dozen other search engines that existed at the time. The kinds of projects I did early in my career were uh, science projects. I worked with scientists and I would build statistical and mathematical models. I was working uh, in a 30, 40 person research organization. And at that time, our job was to try to prioritize scientific activity to be able to determine who is doing the best science. Okay, we had a database of 2,500 leading scientific journals. If you write a hot article, it gets lots and lots of citations. The leader on the mathematical part was uh, named Gabe Pinsky. And one day he came up with this algorithm that uh, enabled us to take 2,500 journals and then to cross-check all the citations and then to identify which journals had the highest citations and so on. So it wasn't, we weren't trying to do anything uh, super great other than to advance our metrics and then this would uh, get us more business. And then uh, fast forward 25 years and uh, uh, you have the, uh, the Google boys, okay, pointing out our team for creating the uh, prioritization technique that became known as the page ranking index, and that's Larry Page, okay, one of the, one of the Google boys, because that is what got Google off the ground, is that you could do very fast, relevant searches based on the algorithm we developed. After I had uh, worked at Computer Horizons for about six years, I wanted to go the next step, and it turned out that George Washington University was looking for someone to fill a professor role. But two days after I visited them, I got the offer. I'm very, very proud of my students and the work I did with them. One of my students, and later on, he became the deputy director of the Criminal Investigation Division of the FBI. Another student became head of the environmental cleanup on the multi-billion dollar project in the state of Washington. And they both said to me that the project management was key to their success in doing what they're doing. So that, that felt great. My involvement with PMI is kind of interesting because I had just joined because I wanted the journal. The society itself only had, I think, uh, 5,000 members. During the time that I've been working with PMI, I've gotten a lot out of it. I, I really wanted to be working with bunches of other talented, energetic people uh, to build something big. So that was something. As an educator, all these uh, various trends that we see, we see them early, and I'm including it in my coursework and my lectures, the lifelong friendships I've established. All these things taken together have provided me with great satisfaction. For me and the team that I was working with, we wanted to do good. We wanted to maintain the same level of quality delivered to students from good school, but using all this new technology, so many people that need to be reached who don't have access. So those kinds of things really excited us, they still do. When I reflect on what ultimately came of our pretty humble project, and I'm thinking, how did that one do so well? And I, and I have a number of other projects that did quite well. And one thing they all have in common is that every one of them involved uh, doing something really a real stretch. And if you want to have something that's going to be more enduring, then uh, reach for the gold ring. When we got acknowledged of the work we did and the contribution, we certainly were very proud of what we achieved. This is what we were about. We wanted to take ideas and then to make them a reality, make them something that have an impact uh, on how the world works. <laughs>